recommendations video for you. I'm going to be recommending books in the light academia category. So light academia is the emotional opposite to dark academia. Dark academia is a trend, a uh, category, a whole aesthetic that I think the birth of it happened with The Secret History by Donna Tartt, which is about a group of graduate students. And at the very begin beginning of the story, you know that one of them has murdered one of their classmates. I have not yet read this book. I think that the hype has really made me feel intimidated to actually begin it. Uh, but also in this category is the Dead Poet Society and Sherlock Holmes. Uh, very muted tones like beige, gray, um, cream, these sort of things, because like I said, it has become a whole aesthetic. So in addition to uh, books, movies that feature this, um, so The Emperor's Club with uh, Kevin Klein, this is a movie that would be, con you know, contained in this category. Um, Riot Club, I think is the name of it. And these are just different ones that have been embraced by the dark academia community. Uh, so also then people try to make dark academia clothing to go along with that. Uh, Jane Eyre would be included in this. Uh, but I have to say that overall, what I'm craving this year is kind of really gentle stories. Uh, so the tones for the stories in dark academia are going to be sometimes gothic is in there because Jane Eyre counts as a dark academia book. Um, but it's going to be darker in tone. And I find this year I'm really wanting just really gentle books that um, I feel kind of uh, are soothing to my soul as I am reading them or listening to them or watching a film adaptation of them. And the basic uh, principles of light academia then would be enjoying the little things an exuberant enjoyment in uh, the little things and in life in general, the joie de vie kind of uh, philosophy. So just really savoring and loving every last thing, uh, every last element that you allow to come into your life. Really just um, having fun in such a spirited manner. Uh, also enjoying the company of others. You love to be with friends and like-minded people and enjoying the great outdoors is a big component of this. And I find that to be a really soothing part of the books that I read that include that. And also the sort of hobbies and interests in light academia are the same as in dark academia. It would be literature, music, art, history, and learning in general. You love all of those things. So I have some book recommendations and they either contain um, uh, Enjoying the Company of Others, um, The Great Outdoors, and slash or Enjoying um, uh, Literature, Music, Art, History, and Learning in General. Some of these are a beautiful marriage of all of those and you're going to have all of those. So this will be a two-part video and this is the first part of the recommendations. So first on the list is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Jo March I think is a really iconic heroine for a lot of readers and writers out there. To see her really evolve herself as a writer to kind of decide how she can be true to herself with the stories that she writes. In addition to that, knowing all four of the March sisters is just such a treat for the reader. I think the newest 2019 adaptation has made a lot of people kind of reconsider Amy and what they thought of her before. I think it really gave, uh, shed a new light on the character of Amy and how she and Joe, while the um, methods that they go about to achieving um, success and security and stability in life are different, the end goal that they have might not be all of that different. And also included in that is going to be just this real exuberant enjoyment in life, uh, cozy uh, times where they are, you know, uh, it's cold outside, but they have a nice fire going inside. They're doing, uh, they're making things, you know, they're reading, they're knitting, Beth is playing the piano. All of these things make just, it's just such a warm and inviting environment for you to be reading about as a reader. And you want to be there, right there with them. Next on the list is A Girl of the Limber, Limber Lost by Jean Stratton Porter. This has uh, the enjoyment of the great outdoors, the reveling in it, and especially, um, Concert conservationism. So really learning about 
um, how to preserve this beautiful land that um, Elnora Comstock is our main character and she lives in Indiana and near a swamp. And so kind of how to preserve this beautiful landscape so it doesn't go away and people can enjoy it for years and years to come. And then also Elnora loves to learn. Uh, the book starts off when Elnora's mother has finally consented to letting Elnora go to school in town. And it just starts this beautiful personal journey for Elnora of getting to pursue um, uh, the things of the mind. She has wanted to go to school for such a long time and her mother finally consents. And it's really wonderful to see Elnora blossom as a character and has some really sweet passages in here. Also some really sweet romance. And it's just a great book. Um, it's not talked about as much, but I think it's definitely a classic and worth your time. And I love it so much. Uh, then next on the list is Anne of Green Gables. This is definitely a light academia book because Anne has um, friends that she holds so near and dear to her and she also just revels in the outdoor world on her walks to and from school and just then rambling about uh, on the free days that she doesn't have to go to school. It's neat to see that uh, Anne she's an orphan for the early part of her childhood and so then later on to see her really take on the challenge of schoolwork and working hard and earning um, things through hard work, earning uh, uh, scholarships and accomplishments through working very hard and studying hard is really beautiful to see. So Anne of Green Gables and the entire series definitely falls under the light academia category. Um, Anne just has such a, a, a zest and a, a desire to learn and enjoy every aspect of life. And then my favorite series is the Betsy Tacey series. Uh, Betsy Ray is just such a winsome, winsome and charismatic character. It's lovely to follow her. You see her mature and grow. She does make mistakes and she learns from them and grows from them. So she feels very relatable as a character. You see uh, her excitement for whenever a new school year starts and everything is fresh and new. She doesn't always achieve the grades that she wants. So you do see her struggle with that because she loves to have fun with her friends, but then to sit down and dedicate, you know, uh, solitary time where she is studying is sometimes a challenge for her. She loves literature and books. There's some really fun plot lines with the library in this and um, traveling around uh, seeing, uh, different things in her travels is a really fun part of the series as well. And there are many books in this series. So you have a lot of fun ahead of you if you have not read this series. Uh, then an author that I think would very much approve of light academia is Elizabeth Googe. This was one of my favorite books from this past year, Island Magic. And I included it on this list because this island, which is off the coast of France, is this incredibly idyllic setting. I mean, it is stunningly beautiful. It's kind of suffocating how beautiful it is. In addition to that, though, several of the characters go to school and you see them kind of each uh, really latch on to these specific interests that they have. I really appreciated this about this, this book, that the characters each have their own distinct personalities and they all love uh, studying and learning about different things. And it's a beautiful, beautiful book. And then along with that is going to be the Elliot Family Trilogy by Elizabeth Googe. So The Bird in the Tree, um, Pilgrims Inn, and then The Heart of the Family. The UK titles are a little bit different, I think, but you are following this Elliot family and it is not good times at the beginning of the story. So that is something this is a bit more bittersweet than maybe some that I recommend for light academia. Uh, but what I love is you get to follow this family on a journey and it's really lovely to see a family that has hard problems that it doesn't seem like there's an easy way out of them. Uh, but really when you are truly there and present and wanting your family to do the best that it can, you can find a solution and find a way to fix things. And um, I, one of my favorite plot lines, I'm pretty sure is in Pilgrim's Inn, the second in the series, when the uh, children all put on a play at Christmas time. And yes, the island that they live on is so beautiful and just such a glorious, glorious setting. Uh, so yes, I love this series. And I think if you're looking for something in light academia, that's something that you could enjoy. 
Then All Creatures Great and Small, uh, written by James Harriet, which was the pseudonym for Alf White. He was a vet in Yorkshire, and so he was constantly learning his trade and learning how to take care of animals better, trying out new medicines, and you see that, that he wants to be kind of at the top of his game as a veterinarian, and it's really special to see someone really wanting to take pride in their work. So while there's no formal schooling in this, he is a lifelong learner, and then just the love affair that he has with Yorkshire, even in the very cold, very long winters, the love he has for this land is marvelous. And next on the list is going to be the All of a Kind Family series. This is a wonderful, wonderful series. It has five books in the series, and it is about a Jewish family living in Brooklyn, New York. And there is a lot of library love in this book series. I, uh, it's so fun to see these sisters, and they do eventually have a baby brother, visit the library and love books. And uh, just have, they're a very, uh, you know, they're very impoverished. They don't have a lot of spare money. So to utilize something like the library to see a family benefiting from that is really sweet to see and how much they love to learn. And it's just uh, a family that knows how to have fun uh, on a dime. They, they don't have a lot, you know, to, to live on, but they manage to enjoy life. And it's really marvelous to see uh, their relationships together and the individual personalities of the sister. Um, and it's just a lovely, lovely series. Uh, then we have Ella Enchanted. This, I would say, definitely falls under this category because there's a lot of traveling that Ella does. So you get to see the land, um, which is, is it Frell? She's Ella of Frell. Um, but I don't know. I think that's because the name of the land is Frell itself. I wasn't sure if it was her house was called that, but I think the entire land is called Frell. So you see Ella visiting the different parts of this land, and there is even a boarding school setting. There is a magical book in this, and Ella is a delightful character who um, just really does fine, even in really tough circumstances. This is a retelling of Cinderella. So things are not always going to be happy times for Ella. She's able to find things still to savor and enjoy in the midst of that. And it's beautiful. Uh, then a very recent Cinderella retelling that I read was A Shard of Glass. This is a really cool, um, very traditional fairy tale setting for Cinderella. And she's living with her wicked stepmother and one stepsister in this case. And um, she is a very skilled seamstress, but she's so busy taking care of her stepmother and stepsister, she doesn't really have time to pursue this until she decides to apply to be a maid at the castle and she is accepted and ends up working on this very special tapestry. And there are some magical elements involved. Uh, she's just a marvelous, marvelous lead. And it was a wonderful Cinderella retelling. So I'm very uh, just excited about that and to tell people about it. It's a great Cinderella retelling. And I think people uh, who love fairy tale retellings would really enjoy it. And then speaking of fairy tale retellings, I think that they, there are a fair number of them that can fall into this light academia category. And the next one is The Goose Girl by Shannon Hale. This is a retelling of The Goose Girl fairy tale. And Ani is our main character and she is a lifelong learner. She has such a passion for it and she loves books. And you see that throughout this. She does a lot of traveling in this book. So I like that there's a fair variety in the setting. And um, also it has a really sweet uh, but slow, gentle romance in it. It's a really wonderful fairy tale retelling. I did try the sequel, which was Enna Burning, and um, it didn't grip me right away. I want to try it again, though, because this series is called The Books of Bayern. There are four in the series, and I love this kind of fairy tale. Um, so I would love to try them again, and um, maybe on audiobook, they would work better for me. So that is part one of my Light Academia recommendations. I hope that you enjoyed this, and I will be back for part two very soon.